and Rutland School Games Spring Championships. It is designed to motivate and enthuse all young people across the UK. Our dream is to keep the legacy of all our spectacular athletes who performed in the Olympics and Paralympics alive. The main objective of today is to get everyone involved while also following the spirit of the Games values. Each and every one of you are winners and for that you should be proud. You have the opportunity to look back on this day and remember all that you have achieved. We all look forward to the day ahead. Good luck and enjoy yourselves. And so we grace another table and raise our glasses one more time. There's a face at the window and I ain't never, never seen. I was playing a, a silly sport called American football. I was playing it here at Loughborough University. Uh, I was at a training session in December 2011 and it was there that um, Joe McDonnell, a sprint coach at Sharnwood AC, spotted me and said I should try sprinting. To, to get to that gold medal, I've got to get the motivation to get out of bed, embrace the cold and just go and do it because I want it that badly and nothing's going to stop me. Remember that this specially commissioned torch has got a panel in it representing each of the uh, districts and sports partnerships. Give it a, a bit of a round of applause as it passes across the front. Okay, from team to team, on to Hinkley and Bosworth. Moving it on now to East Leicester. Keep that applause going, it's a bit lukewarm. West Leicester, Mountain. Northwest Leicestershire, <laughs> uh, Obie Wigston, we need a Rutland person, we've got a Rutland person coming down, and to Blaney and Harborough, and now to our friend from Rutland who's going to bring it back out here to Sam. Okay. I really enjoyed today because it's like it's like a lot of teamwork together. 
it's, it's just like good to like get to meet a lot of new people and obviously check the talents against some of the best people in Leicester. I think it's a great thing, you know, it gets kids involved in activities. It's a lot of fun really and a lot of memories and a bit more encouragement to do more things. is burning still in people's hearts and it's great to see it in the people and in the young people today. I mean, the, the kind of the teamwork and the kind of respect that they develop as being part, part of a team and part of the unit, obviously, is really beneficial. And for the young leaders as well who are helping and volunteering, they obviously learn kind of fantastic skills and kind of lead the competitions. The Momentum Foundation um, aims to inspire and support young people seriously injured through sport. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, didn't expect to see this many uh, kids in here. Um, I actually do some work for Matt. I haven't just come along just to, to support just today, but I do a lot of work for Matt and his foundation. And um, some of the work he does is fantastic. Go out there, enjoy it, and um, make a lot of friends um, in the process. Especially with the legacy of the Olympics, I think it's marvellous because I think it's instilled so much in, into people. I think as a school what we'll take from today is the kids will come away um, having an insight to uh, what, it's, what it's like to compete in a, at an elite level. Um, they'll have a, a chance or to, to walk away or knowing that how good they are as an individual and also just to know what you know, sport development is about and uh, what kind of spirit's involved in terms of making the next stage.